All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about uh, controversial things in the music world, uh, telling it like it is and doing it for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. Folks, if you can help the channel out before I get going on the video, um, YouTube memberships and uh, Patreon, buy me a coffee, which is a great way to send out a message and also help the channel. Um the algorithm is not my friend because of the way I do things over here, okay? So I'm going to take responsibility for that. And uh, I'm asking folks if you can help out, uh, if you like the content uh, or you just feel the need <laughs> to be charitable, um, if you can help me out, that would be fantastic. I get new patrons, but what happens is I lose patrons, Um I don't know. It's 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 interesting. If I could keep the patrons and not lose them, I think I would be in good shape. And if, say, 10% of my subscription base watched each video, um, I think I would be in pretty good shape. All I need is like 10%. So, yeah, you would need a much stronger algorithm uh, in order to do that. And you would need salacious topics every single time because people tend to gravitate toward things that, you know, are more uh, in line with like the TMZ side of, of life. So, yeah. Anyway, um, this video kind of follows that, uh, that prescription to some degree. And I'm going to do a screen share here, and then I'm going to talk about this because I think it needs to be talked about, and I think someone needs to say it because no one else is going to say it. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Uh, this headline, uh, Jack Russell, lead singer of band Great White, who was on stage during horrific concert fire, dies. Wow. Um, so this is from what's called the Globe and Mail dot com. But that's the headline they wrote. And and that's what this band is forever going to be remembered for. It's not going to be. Um, their decent cover of an Ian Hunter song, in case people didn't know, Once Bitten, Twice Shy, Ian Hunter, 1975. Um, all of these bands from the 80s, they loved all the glam rock stuff from the 70s and kind of plagiarized a lot and sometimes covered it and people didn't know that they were covering. Does anyone know that I Love Rock and Roll by Joan Jett is a cover of a song by the Arrows? A lot of people don't know that. But anyway, um, so this is how Jack Russell, who really struggled uh, after this horrific incident uh, with life. And I think what happened to Jack is that the guilt and all of the pain from 2003, 100 people died in that fire, uh, like 280 people were hurt. Um I lived up in that area when this happened and people were telling stories about the screaming and the smell of burning human flesh. I mean, I don't know how you go on after that. I don't know how, and look, am I saying it? I'm not saying it's Jack's fault. Jack was told not to talk about this uh, and to kind of move on. Uh, that was, legal advice that he got um the pyrotechnics guy i think uh faced a little bit of jail time and uh the owner of the club i think also faced some jail time but a lot of people know that justice really wasn't served even though it kind of was because again it, it's just beyond a it just you go to a concert and again, I told the story about this DJ at WNRC, which is uh, Nichols College Radio, and I was doing some radio shows uh, out of that location. I had a show called Lost and Found Rock Radio that I did. And I would go up there and I would see the tribute to him and the plaque that was there and how he went to this concert. He didn't come home. He didn't come home. And I would just, it was just eerie. It was like you're in this studio and you're, reading this plaque and and it's just it's mind-blowing so you know 
Jack Russell dies at only 63 years old. Um, he had substance abuse issues, and then he had Lewy body dementia. And this event, you could probably go back to this event and see how his health went downhill. This has been 21 years since it happened. And I think Great White is now on their third lead singer, second or third lead singer since uh, they told Jack that he needed to get help. And uh, the band obviously still, uh, still were friendly with Jack. I know Jack and the band would go back and forth about why Jack's not in the band. And Jack had his version of Great White that he would go out and tour with. Um, <clears throat> all of that to say, folks, that when you look at this situation, this is a case in human history or in the world of just truth and reality that I don't think you come back from. And, and I don't think you should come back from. People have quit things over smaller issues. They've quit because they don't think it's appropriate to go on. And when I heard this band was still out there and I hadn't paid much attention to them, probably around 2010 or so, I'm like, really? And I was still up in New England at the time and I'm like, great white. And they weren't really coming too close to New England. I think they did a gig up in Maine and that caused a lot of problems when they went to Maine. People did not want to see great white. They didn't think it was respectful for them to come back. And I would argue it probably wasn't a good idea for this band to continue, period. That should have been it. I mean, Jack could have been a producer. He could have written songs for other people. Um, he could have gotten into another business altogether. I know it's difficult, and these guys... You know, post grunge, the only way you make money because you can't sell albums, so you have to go out and tour. This became the nostalgia circuit. Even in 2003, they were already on that. You weren't hearing Great White on the radio really anymore, other than once bitten, twice shy. You really weren't hearing Great White. So, my premise here, and it's it's not complicated, is that this band should quit they should just stop because they're still writing headlines about this and 20 years later people they're not letting it go and they're not going to let it go this band will always be remembered whether it's fair or not they will always be remembered for this incident and they've even got a memorial that they built in 2017 they built a whole park where the station nightclub used to be. And they have all the names of the victims on plaques. You can walk through there and you could see, you know, a horrible part of history in Rhode Island. And just, it, it, it's, I just can't even imagine the pain because those hundred people had friends and family and that just ripples out. And people I knew, new people who went and some people got out and again some people a hundred people did not get out so you know um jack russell obviously lived a shorter life most likely because of all of the pain and depression and substance abuse and then his body you know your your immune system just it, it can't handle normal things uh, when you're constantly riddled with the pain of this. And I, you imagine the nightmares and you'd wake up thinking about this. You would really have to be full-time psychological counseling. And I don't even know if that gets you through any of this. But to keep performing as a musician, to keep being in that role, it's like people will quit other professions when they're almost in a near death uh, situation they'll say you know what <laughs> i used to you know i used to be a daredevil i i decided i'm not going to do that anymore because i almost died 
Some people are just wired for danger and they like it and thrive on it. And yes, is this fair to, to say you guys should stop? Yeah, it, it's fair. I think it's fair. It's not fair what happened to this band based on this. It's not really their fault per se, but it, it, it doesn't really matter whose fault it is. This is just a situation where, again, you want to lessen the pain threshold for everybody who had to deal with someone who passed away. And you want to clear the conscience to some degree of the people who were there in the band, affiliated with the band. Um, the right thing to do would be to break up, to say, no, I mean, a lot of bands can come back from certain things. This is not one of those things. And I think that's where they made a mistake. And my guess is, I think Jack would have lived, I mean, he he obviously he loved what he did, but that never healed him from what happened. That never um, made up for the, this tragedy, which is unthinkable. So just some thoughts on this. Uh, do I think Great White should hang it up? Yeah, I do. I think they sh they should have quit 20 years ago. Um, they should quit out of, you know, just respecting the victims of this horrible nightclub fire. Uh, and, you know, they had a they had a good run and they probably went into overtime like a lot of bands do, meaning that, you know, this should have been settled in regulation time. But now they're playing overtime and, it, you know. I guess there is a market for this stuff because people keep showing up for the concerts. But I don't think it's a good idea to stay out there. I just don't. And, you know, I, I know a lot of people will disagree, like the show must go on and it's not their fault. And, you know, shut up and all this. Maybe Jack would still be here. Maybe if Jack had taken a different course and said, you know what? This is too much. I don't want to live this every day. I don't want to be asked questions about this every day. I don't want to think about this every day. You know, I mean, people go incognito. They they go underground when something like this happens. And I think he would have been better served by surrounding himself with a new group of people, a new set of circumstances, and full-time counseling and, and he might still be here. I don't know. I'm not a medical expert, but um, you could easily make a connection and say this guy died from a weakened immune system. He also died from guilt and overwhelming guilt that that there's not much that you can do. Um, you should have people who pray for you and and you should have a relationship with God because only God could heal someone of this kind of problem. And uh, those are my thoughts on this. So again, thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you soon.